Okay, so let's start walking through the actual lesson plan template that you use for the Teacher Ed program. You'll use this in all of your classes as you go through the program. And here we will, you know, the top part I think is pretty standard. You can figure that out. Since this semester you're not doing field work, you don't need to fill out the school site supervisor in the school. The course, of course, would be this one, Education 425 and the date and the grade level in language arts. So you were assigned a fieldwork class, you can choose to design your lesson for that class, but that's not required in this case. So the first lesson, remember, you'll be creating is a lesson that you do with a partner or small group, and the second one you do independently. So the theme, for in this case, we're looking at grade level phonics and word analysis skills. The standards are the Reading Foundational Standards Kindergarten. So if you go to the Common Core Standards, English Language Arts Standards, we're here in this RFK, and you can click here on, on Kindergarten, and it'll show you, here are some of the print concepts, and we've talked about concepts of print, so here you see them here. Phonological awareness, things about phonemes and phonemic awareness and demonstrating sounds. And then phonics and word recognition, that's where we are today. Looking at basic knowledge of one-to-one -one letter sound correspondences by producing the primary sound or most frequent sounds for each consonant. So these are the foundational skills for kindergarten, and there are variations for the different grade levels. All right, so back to our lesson plan chart. So I put in our standard here, and then here's my learning objective, which is obviously connected, but I'm specifying because I'm looking at specifically the hard C and the soft C, or the K and the S sound, and the book I'm using is Country Mouse, City Mouse, and that's the Aesop's Fable, so it's the publishing company. And then for other materials, we have the hard soft C and the hard C word sort, uh, there will be an anchor chart and also, of course, their um, written responses, which you know, is just paper and pencil. So the next section is class background. What have you learned about the kids? So if you've done any field work, you could fill that in here. If not, you can just imagine different groups and write in different kinds of things you might learn in terms of knowing who the kids are in the class and what kinds of background knowledge and how it influences how you design your lessons. So because these are young kids, many of them are obviously going to be visual and kinesthetic, so I include hands-on activities. Um, there's a wide reading ability, so there's some kids in kindergarten classes that read at the, at the first grade, second grade level, and some kids that are still struggling with phonemic awareness, so I will vary my expectations and differentiate instruction and different um, you know, have different opportunities for responding, and also that there are language learners in the class, <clears throat> so my PowerPoint will have visuals to support them. So then you will pick two target children to focus on. One will be an English learner that you will describe, and one will be a child who presents a different instructional challenge. Maybe they have some kind of learning disability, maybe they have some kind of language challenge, maybe they have an IEP and they're identified as special ed. So you will identify how you will address that. For the first lesson you do with a group, you can leave that part out for now, but we will do that for the second one. Okay, the lesson plan itself, the background knowledge part, so we did that um, intro about living in the city and living in the country where they did their go to the corners and finding a picture that represents city and country. And that was what the children did, and it helped me assess what's their background knowledge. So if I needed to do more background about the difference between city and country, I could have. We also then watched that video on hard C and soft C and had them come up with a brainstorm list of things that are different between city and country. And the reason I did all this is because it's low effective filter, it's, a, it's fun and engaging and they're quick, short things that I thought kindergartners could address. So after you have taught this or introduced this with your partner, you are going to fill out this reflection part. So there's a reflection part in the activating background knowledge, there's another reflection here, and a final reflection here. So before you upload this, 
you need to write a reflection in each one of these. And one of the things I think I would write here is it was so fun to find that little video, which is exactly perfect for introducing this book. I didn't plan that, it just worked out that way. So that was exciting. So activating background is the beginning, then the second part is the through part, and in this part is where you're actually going to read the book. So I would read City Mouse, Country Mouse aloud, stop and ask you know questions for comprehension just to make sure they're understanding the text, and then I would go back after I've read and talk about the words city and country and how have the kids notice that they both start with the letter C but have two different sounds. Then I would take them back through that PowerPoint where we talk about the anchor chart showing words with a hard C and words with the soft C sound. And then um, talk about hard and soft C and see if they can come up with the rules for spelling when it's a hard C and when it's a soft C. So for kids' activities, they're going to sit on the rug as they listen to a story. They will pair share answers to the questions and then I will call on them to answer questions. And then in the closure part, we're going to do word sorts, and they've done this before. So each pair of students will get an envelope with words with hard and soft C to sort. I will model sorting on the document camera. We'll do a couple together and then have them do it with me. And then they will sort them on their own. So for assessment, I will look at the sorts they came up with. Then each student is going to write three sentences, picking three different C words. And they can either use a sentence frame that I showed you in the, in the PowerPoint, or they can make up their own depending on the, kid, the children's level of development and writing ability and language ability. And then here's the rationale. So the final part of the lesson is this piece. So what was the thinking behind designing the lesson? So the first one looks at theoretical basis. So in the beginning of the semester, we talked about different learning theories, and in this case there's a behaviorism piece where it's direct instruction and I'm explaining what we're doing. And then there's some constructivist with the word sorting and social constructivism where they're working with partners and pairs to engage with the, the concepts. And also there's the low effective filter from Krashen where no one's put on the spot and there's it's low stress. So for kids that are struggling or kids that are learning English, there's no real, you're not put on the spot or called on to perform in any way. So how does this connect to social emotional needs? So there's a lot of interaction, it's safe, and that four corners activity, kids can group together. There's no one um, being called out in a test or stressful situation. The PowerPoint, the video, and showing how to do the sort on the dot camera are all used to support hands-on learning and engagement. To know if they're actively evolved, I can observe them and then I can look at their final um, written responses to see if they're getting it. And I'll let you read the rest of this. So that is a walkthrough of the lesson plan in a nutshell.